Hi there, my name is Aaron Short. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Did you enjoy my little jazz song there? I made that in 30 seconds and I made it with PG Music's Band in the Box and I love this software and I want to make a series of videos about this software. So what is Band in a Box? You may have heard of it before. It's been around for many, many years. I heard about this program when I was back in school. At the time, I heard it was a very useful tool for soloing over, practicing your chord progression, songwriting, these kinds of things. I didn't look at it back then because I wasn't practicing like that and I thought it was um, based around MIDI sounds and not real sounds, so I wasn't sure it was for me. Fast forward to 2019, just very recently, and I'd heard that there's many features added, including real instruments, real backing tracks that you can generate yourself just by typing in the chords, and then you can play them at any speed, uh, tempo that you want to, change the chords on the fly, transpose the music. Now I review a lot of products on YouTube, and I'm also a solo musician. So my story is, just a few months ago, back in 2019, I decided to purchase this software. I went for one of the lower tier versions. I'll talk you through those today. And I got the download and I absolutely loved it. I loved it so much that I immediately bought the full version. I now currently have the 2020 audio file version on a hard disk, which is the most premium version you can currently get. That's how much I like this and that's how great it is. You heard the music just then. That is real instruments. All I did was type in the chords, select the style of music that I want, and it played. I can change the tempo, I can change the key. So useful for backing tracks, anything like that. And jazz isn't the only style that they have. I've used this for country backing tracks, rock, pop, singer-songwriter. They have classical, they have all the styles. They have some heavy metal in there too. Obviously there's a lot more kind of pop, rock, and jazz backing tracks and arrangements than others but they're adding new ones all the time, which is really great. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, because I'll have more videos on Band in the Box in the future. And indeed, I use it for most of my, if not all of my backing tracks that I have on the channel. What I wanna do is do some lessons in the software, and I'm gonna to start today by telling you which version I think you should get, or at least I'm gonna to try to help you make a decision. Because honestly, one of the biggest challenges I had when I got this software was, which version do I get? They make it for Mac or PC, that's an easy selection, right? I have a Mac, so I want the Mac version. But then there's different uh, versions and upgrades for different budgets. There's boxed versions or download only versions. And I wanna talk you through the different options that you have. If you live in the USA and have access to Sweetwater, I highly recommend you purchase from them. They're a great company. I'll put all the links to them below for all the versions and highlight the versions that I recommend. For now, let me take you over to Sweetwater so I can show you what versions are available. Okay, so here we are on Sweetwater's website, and these are all the versions. Again, I will link to them all individually below. You can just click on those links below in my description, and it will take you straight to the product. You haven't got to worry about searching for yourself. Like I said, there's many versions as you can see. I'll try to give you my insight into this. And I'm glad they do this. It means anyone can purchase this. There's a version from $99, all the way up to $559. One thing I want to say is that when I tell people that there's versions that are over $500, sometimes they say to me, that's pricey. Well, I want you to think about it like this. For that money, you get a ton and hours and hours and hours of recordings and tracks. If you went to a recording studio, a professional recording studio with musicians of this caliber that have recorded these backing tracks, you could spend that in one day. You could spend much more than that in one day. Think about it like that. Think about the grand scheme of things with this. If you're not ready to invest that kind of money, go for the $99 version. It still has a ton of content. It's still got over 300 real tracks, 340 hours of studio recordings. That's a really incredible deal. And if you're kind of in the middle, go for one of the ones in the middle. They're, they're from like 219 to 379. Well, let me show you what you got here. So you've got Windows or Mac, obviously make sure you choose the right version. That goes without saying. Just as a side note, in the future, if you change from Mac to PC or PC to Mac, you can cross grade with PG Music. That's really good to know. Now I'm gonna show you the specifications, the requirements that you need to run this program. It really isn't too bad actually. 
This is what I've found in my research. The bold version at the top is the Mac requirements and the lighter text below is for PC. You can read all of that at, at your leisure. Let me just go through it though. Mac OS X 10.6 or higher. Well, if you click the little Mac icon on your Mac, I'm doing it right now, it's on the top left of your screen and click about this Mac, it will tell you the version. I have 10.15.5, that's the latest version. Now this will support 10.6, that's a long way back. So you shouldn't have a problem with compatibility. Uh, 512 meg of RAM, that's really not very much. Again, the more RAM you have, the newer the machine you have, the better it's gonna handle this. Sometimes you do have to sit while it renders the song, especially if you have the more premium versions with the higher quality samples, which is ironic, they take longer to load up. So you do need to bear that in mind. I would say the only requirement you really wanna think about with this software is hard drive space. Because if you buy one of the more premium versions as a download and you download that content, it will eat up a considerable amount of your hard drive. The good side of that is it means you're getting a lot for your money. The downside is you don't wanna run out of space on your computer, especially if you do a lot of recording and things like that. Now there is a version available on a hard drive, which means you can run these sam samples on an external hard drive. So that's another option we can explore. So if I was going for one of the, like the pro version, it doesn't take up that much space, I would probably just download it straight to my computer and run it from the computer. If I was gonna spend a bit more and go for one of the uh, mega pack type versions, I would probably run it off an external drive. Again, depends on your machine. If you have a two terabyte hard drive, latest Macintosh, you can install it, no problem, you can run it. If you have a slightly older machine, you might wanna run it from the drive. So just bear that in mind when you make your selection. But really, this will run on most computers, but do check it will run before you purchase. And if you just look at the screen right here, you can see exactly what your computer needs to be. Even Windows goes back to XP, that's a really, old version. That's the version that they had, I think, when I first heard about Band in the Box. So it's great that they support all these different specifications of machines and computers. You might ask me, does this run on an iPad? They do have like an iPad version, but it requires the desktop version to run. This software is very advanced and you really can't run it from something like an iPad. You need to run this from a computer, a desktop computer or a laptop would be great too. So that's the requirements. Let me go back to Sweetwater again. I think it's great that Sweetwater sell this and they have all the versions and it's all the 2020 versions. Band the Box seems to get an upgrade every year. You don't have to upgrade to it. There will be upgrade options to do that. When 2021 comes out, you can upgrade, but you don't have to. You could run 2020 for many years. I mean, to be honest with you, the version of 2020 I have could probably last me years and years and years and years because there's so much content on there. And that's important to know. Like you don't have to upgrade in order to run new tracks or something. The tracks you have now will work absolutely fine for many, many years. In fact, I have so many tracks now on my drive for Band the Box. I think I could probably just use this for the rest of time. But of course, it's nice to get the latest and greatest if you want to have the bells and whistles that they come with. So I have a Mac. Let's pretend that I'm shopping for a version for myself right now. I've arranged these by price and you can see uh, Mac download, okay, $99. That's a great deal. I would totally, totally get that. That's awesome. Now, what's the next version up from there for a Mac? It's the Mega Pack version. That's also a download. That's a little bit more than twice the price. But for that, you're going to get more tracks, more loops, more of everything. So this really comes down to budget. If you jump up again, you get the Ultra Pack, which is 379 Okay, but again, you then get even more tracks and things. That's a nice one to get, that's kind of in the middle. Oh, sorry, the, the Mac version is here, 379. They also do it, this is the interesting thing, there's a boxed version of the Ultra Pack. And look, the price is the same. Now, I had to, this is also confusing, honestly, I had to research this a lot to make this video alone. But it seems if you buy the box version, you get it sent to you on a disc. Now why would you not do it if the price is the same? That's the question. So I would indeed do that because if you buy the box version you can still download the program from the website. You'll buy it here from Sweetwater, you'll get sent a code from them, you'll put that in when you download the software from the link they give you and it will activate the software 
With the box version, you'll also get it on a drive because PG Music know that some people need this on a the drive. They can't, they simply can't download it to their computer. They don't have the space. Or at least I presume that's why they do it. But it's great that they do. So if I was you, if I had to recommend this software, I'd say, look, if you're not sure, go for the $99 download. If you're sure that you love this and you're going to use it a lot, I would go for the, the Ultra Pack boxed version because you get so much on there, all these different real tracks and things. That should be absolutely fine. Now, if you really love this software like I did, you can get the Ultra Pack Plus, which is 479. You see, it's just going up like 100 bucks or so every time. This has even more stuff. Now, it may have stuff you don't need, okay? The real tracks is only slightly um, more at that point. So maybe you don't need the other stuff it has. Um, they do box for that as well. And then there's the audio file version, which is $559. That definitely comes in the box because with the audio file version, instead of high quality MP3s, you get WAV files. So these are CD quality. I have to say the difference is very minimal. I really don't think you need it. Maybe if you're going to be releasing your music on CD and general release, you'll want that version, but you really don't need it and it will slow down the speed of rendering and everything. So only go for that if you're a commercial user that wants to release this. Maybe you get paid to release this for artists and things like that. I honestly don't think that is necessary and it does cost another $100. The Ultra Pack Plus or the Ultra Pack are excellent op options in the boxed version. I would definitely check that out. Really, they're all awesome. You can't go wrong with any of them. The only way you'll go wrong with the $99 version is you might want more stuff and think to yourself, oh, I wonder what else is out there if I'd paid a bit more money. I'm not gonna tell you how much money to spend. Honestly, if you went for the audio file version, I know it's an investment, but I think you won't regret it at all. And Work your way back from there. If you're not if you're not happy or comfortable spending that kind of money yet, just go back the steps that you need to that you can afford right now. But if you are a composer or a musician, you need to get this. And the other great thing about these tracks that you may not know is that they are royalty free. Now what that means is you can create a piece of music with this software and you can release it and not pay a royalty. That's incredible. Again, if you go to a major studio, to record at this kind of quality. They have to pay money to the musicians or something, a royalty or something, if they write a hook or something. This is royalty free. You can release this and not pay a cent or a penny. <laughs> this is awesome. Again, you can't go wrong. And I urge you as a musician to get this. This is so great because you can, if you think about it, you can practice to the music. It's all in time. You can practice your timing, your soloing. If you're a singer, you can practice your singing over this. You can change the key. But all you do is type in the chords, hit play, and you can sing over that. You can even record over it as well and listen back to yourself singing with a band. If you teach music, you can make a backing track in five minutes and email it to your student and they can practice over it. There's nothing like playing with other musicians. There's nothing like recording with a band and not just playing solo. If you just want the drum track, solo the drum track, use this for drums only or percussion. If you only want a piano track, you don't have to have a band in the box. You could just have a piano playing the piece. This is the most incredible, amazing tool. I can't say it enough. My version has paid for itself over and over again and it's not even been a year yet. It's absolutely incredible. I really love it. You can print out the music to give to real musicians to play in the future. You could have a real musician play from the music while this is playing. You know, the options are just absolutely endless. It's incredible. I, I, I have to stop because I'll just keep saying how great it is. The hardest thing for you right now is to choose the version that you want to invest in. I'll leave that up to you. My story was, I went for a more affordable version, and within a week, I wanted the more expensive version. I just was blown away, and I think you will be as well. So I'll put the links below. Choose the version for your computer, choose the version for your budget, buy this software, they'll email you the links, download from those links to your computer, install the program itself, which will look like this, and then decide if you've got space to install the content on your computer or if you want to run it from the external drive, either your own or the one that they send you, and then we'll get going. All you'll do is type in the chords, hit play, and you will have instant music. 
I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really not that difficult. This software is awesome because it can be incredibly simple or very in-depth and detailed and everywhere in between. But it's very easy just to type in those chord letters, hit play and get instant music, which is what we want. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna have videos on that coming up. I'll go through making your first song, I'll go through some advanced features. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover in those how-tos, please write in the comments below and I'll be happy to make sure I include that as well. I'm also available for one-to-one -one tuition over Skype or FaceTime. And I would just charge a nominal fee for that if you want personalized tuition. But like I said, I'm gonna have lots of videos on this coming up because I use it all the time and I want other musicians to use this as well. So I hope that was useful. Any questions, please write them in the comments below. And until next time, Go make some music with Band in the Box. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.